think again. <laughs> Sorry, but that won't work this time. Behold! <laughs> Look right! <laughs> Good lord sake. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hilarious. It's like two old men having a crotchety fight. What the fuck? I didn't remember it having an actual Mount Rushmore faces on it. A fake boss. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That's incredible. This is the liberty we won for ourselves. Outer Haven. And with this weapon, I will destroy JD. Then everything ends and everything begins. But as for you, brother, you'll stay here to mark the side of watery grave. Still alive. South Snake enemies. I mean, they've never met. They don't really have much of a connection, other than Snake being a clone of the big boss. I don't think this is how physics works. When we get to MGS5's ending, that's going to make a little more sense. They were asking me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists had gone away. And a week later, I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State Building. It was so beautiful. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Fire! Fire! Ha! Worth 
ruthless boss. All your shots are falling short. So, what we saw, if you recall back to Metal Gear Solid 3, we were playing as Naked Snake, who became Big Boss. And he then, basically, after that, started his own private military company, which is Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which we're not going to play because it's a mobile game, and I don't want to bother with it. I do have it. I do have it on the Xbox 360. I just don't want to play it because it's not very good. It's basically a multiplayer game, and I'm not going to deal with that. But basically, Snake gives up on old governments and makes his own military faction, or big boss. And then he goes a bit crazy, and he starts his own, like, African warlord nation, and starts building the first Metal Gear to take over the world. And this Snake, Solid Snake, is sent to stop him. And stops him. And believes to have killed him until we find out Zanzibar Land is the second game of the two, yes. I'm not sure why he called it Zanzibar Land. The first one he called Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven, the second one was Zanzibar Land. And then, after that, well, Big Boss is believed to be dead. In this game, we saw him. He didn't have arms or legs. He was in a plastic bag, kept alive as a... I can't remember what the game called him, but basically a nanomachine zombie, just so his DNA can be used as a fancy, di like, digital key. And now he's been destroyed, so he's, he, he doesn't exist anymore. It's just the idea of Big Boss that's currently pushing people to do crazy, crazy things. Like Liquid, basically just... Liquid's original idea was he thought he was the worst clone of the three made of Big Boss, and he wanted to prove that he was the best one so that he could surpass his father, become the new big boss, and take over and create his own new outer heaven that way. But then the weaker, the, what he believed to be the, no, wait, hold on. Liquid believed he was the weak clone that got all, the, all of Dad's bad genes, and Solid Snake was the good clone. And at the end of MGS1, we learned it was actually the other way around, and the S Solid Snake was the weaker clone who managed to still defeat the stronger clone. And I don't even know anymore. <laughs> There's so much nonsense there. But for all intents and purposes, Big Boss is dead at this point. He, he is no more. He is an ex- Mercenary. He is no longer in the realm of the living. I don't remember how the joke goes in Monty Python anymore. And in Metal Gear Solid V, we'll get to see a bit more of what happened to Big Boss before he became, or basically before he went to establish his outer heaven and Zanzibar land. Because that's what the Metal Gear Solid V is. That shows what Big Boss did before those two events. Yes. That was a lot of talky talk. Let's move on. I just remember that there's a very silly boss fight still ahead. At least a couple. At least one very, very silly boss fight. I don't remember how long this game is. I don't know how much I have left. Because I'm currently wrestling with myself for do I try to push this and finish it tonight? 
Or do I go to sleep? Let's see. I've got another hour in me. Haven is headed southward through the Pacific at a speed of 33 knots. The Missouri is falling behind at a rate of about two nautical miles every hour. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm afraid not. This is as fast as she'll go. Yeah, same. The target is JD, a U.S. military satellite disguised as orbital debris. Haven will have to surface in order to use the railgun. Oh. We can figure out I can mess with her. We should be able to predict where Haven's going to surface. Awesome. JD is in a synchronous elliptical orbit, so its next perigee should be in. Uh... Oh. Got it. Fifteen hours, six minutes, and twelve seconds. Right. Ass. In Fifteen hours. It's going to be over the Bering Sea, four hundred ninety-four nautical miles from the Bering Strait. <laughs> Haven knows it too. They'll be holding position in that area. Do they really have to get that close to launch? The nukes fired by Rex's railgun have a damage radius of approximately 300 meters. The target is a moving satellite that's traveling at 10 kilometers per second. To get the precision they need, they have to get as close as they possibly can. Liquid won't launch his nuke until JD is at perigee. The Missouri can use that time to catch up. Will we make it? Once Haven stops moving, it'll take us an hour to close the gap. After that, the Missouri needs to strike before Haven's launch preparations are complete. This ship was stripped of most of its equipment, and she's got no electronic warfare capabilities of any kind. No radar, no high-tech weaponry. We'll have to rely on our own eyes to track the enemy. New Mei Ling sounds really weird to me. From the looks of it, Haven is going to use a railgun mounted on the bridge to destroy JD. You'll need to open the cover to launch the nuke. That's our one and only chance to get inside. The ladies in inside. uniform. No. Nice. Why can't we attack it from here? It wouldn't do any good. As long as Liquid has control of the system, physically destroying GW would still leave supreme authority in his hands. Sons of the Patriots. Yes, Dr. Emmerich is right. That's why we need to destroy G. But you fucking idiots can't use guns. Before attacking Haven itself. Hmm. Liquid's very own Death Star. Now we're making Star Wars references in Metal Gear Solid? Jesus. All right, everybody. Here's the plan. We know Haven will have to surface in order to fire the railgun. When it does, the Missouri will see it. We'll make a quick approach and deliver a strike team. Our goal is twofold. Prevent that nuke from launching and wipe out GW's programming. The enemy relies entirely on electronic means of threat detection. So they won't be able to see the Missouri until they... No! Johnny knows was good. <laughs> They'll then penetrate GW's fucking Japanese games and infect it with a worm cluster. But what if they shut down GW before we get in there? Liquid is already entrenched within the Patriots network. He needs to stay there, or destroying JD won't serve him any purpose. They can't afford to have GW shut down. And let's not forget, Liquid will throw everything he's got at stopping the strike team. Exactly. The corridor leading to GW is defended by directed energy weapons that emit certain types of microwaves. Did you say microwaves? That's right. And at that frequency, the waves will start to evaporate any living person within range. Badass. A giant microwave oven. You'd have to have a death wish to go in there. Sounds like the perfect job for me. <laughs> Snake, this isn't the time for your stupid jokes. Outside the corridor, Liquid soldiers will be out in full force. 
Inside. There'll be unmanned weapons waiting for us. Where are you getting all this information? You really think there's a way to destroy GW? <coughs> yes, I do. She... left us something that'll point us in the right direction. Naomi helped with the preparations to stop Haven's launch. Naomi? All of our internal data on Haven came from her. The reason she got on the Nomad with us in the first place... ...was to get close to me. But she ended up turning to Sunny instead. What do you mean? She left her plan in Sunny's hands. This entire operation is based on the data she left us. <coughs> Whose side was she on, anyway? <coughs> we'll never know exactly what her true intentions were. But one thing's for sure. She was determined to stop Liquid. Somebody say something positive. Anything. Attention. No, Listen I'm not gonna up. do it. A wise man wants Rose. Oh, for fuck's sakes, not with Tons these again. Of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Where words are spent, they are seldom spent in vain. <sighs> That's not useful. Any other questions? <clears throat> yes, Snake? Anybody got a smoke? Snake. Aww. Actually, only about a third of it is her work. <laughs> Naomi was working on a program to destroy GW, but she couldn't quite finish it, so she handed it over to Sunny. Sunny went fishing in my life. Delete system 30, system 64. There we go. That's the modern version. Eventually, she found some. It was Emma's worm cluster. I hear they got their HQ in England. England. She took my sister's code and worked it into Naomi's program. I didn't have Where was their reflection of Naomi in your glasses? But what I did see reminded me of Emma. It was like she left traces of herself behind in the structure. But this worm cluster that Sunny created, it's even better than Emma's. Sunny's worm destroys the AI's intellect by triggering apoptosis in the cells. Once uploaded into GW, it should do some real damage. Apoptosis. Snake, you ever think about quitting? Why? Programmable cell death that occurs in multiple cellular, multicellular organisms. Okay.
You're trying to kill yourself. Maybe. So, you're dead set on going to Haven yourself. Why don't we get somebody else to go? There's no need for you to do it. Addiction is hell, man. I still have things left to do. A reminder, at the start of first Metal Gear Solid game, Snake had swallowed an entire pack of cigarettes to smuggle them onto the mission. And I don't, I still don't know which end he got them out from. Otacon, why don't you jump off the ship with me? I don't think so. I've still got things to do myself. Dedication to the craft. I don't even smoke. Addiction. A bleep bloop. Old Sun. I don't remember what all the act names have been so far. Something something Sun. Blip bloop. Real engagement. I see. Your point? At first, getting assigned to this ship was a big letdown for me. But the inaction was kind of a relief, too. Captain. I... I'm scared. Jesus Christ, man. Pull yourself together. I'm scared, too. This, this is, is not the time nor place. But I'm not going to let it get to me. Because I'm more scared of what'll happen if I run away. Nobody is going to die on my watch. This ship is going back to Hawaii in one piece. That, I promise. Right. Thank you. And then they all died. He's in no shape to fight. Best to let him rest. Right. Without the system to protect them, everybody's losing their nerve. They say SOP's after effects are so bad that a lot of soldiers are deserting. The only people I have left to rely on are Marilyn. Him. Kind of an unknown quantity, isn't he? I hooked him up with a 9-ID M82. Fancy meeting you here. What are you doing here? I laundered these guys' IDs, then issued them new naked weapons. 
including that catapult you're gonna be riding. Business has been slow ever since Liquid got his hands on the system. His extra orders stopped coming in. <sighs> now that all the weapons all over the world are locked, the only ones still looking to fight would be you and yours. They tell me it's not economical to replace all that useless equipment on the battlefield with my stuff. So I made an extra special trip out here, just for you. Trevor, Ow. do you even have the slightest idea what's going on here? Of course I do. <clears throat> See, when it comes down to it, the world's like this soda here. Once the bubbles are gone, I ain't got no use for it. It's worth nothing. I'm on the side of whoever needs me the most. You did? If you need anything, just say the word. I'm setting up shop here for a spell. like that last smoke will have to wait after all. Later. Hey. Here. Huh? Oh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I just taught a monkey to smoke. It's probably not a good thing. You're over there. There. Snake, can you hear me? Liquid's warship, Outer Haven, is a modified version of an Arsenal gear model stolen from the Patriots. Inside. It's crawling with Irving and other unmanned weapons. According to Naomi's data, Haven is crewed by a battalion of enhanced soldiers, each called from the best the PMCs have to offer. If Liquid succeeds in destroying JD and gaining control of the Patriot system, he'll make Haven his flagship, and his PMCs will spread like wildfire across the globe. Then, mankind's armed subjugation will begin. Captain, Haven sighted. Prepare to fire, main gun. There's not much point in you guys standing there with rifles in hand. Listen closely. This is our last chance to stop Liquid from enslaving the planet. Remember, 
No matter what happens, I'll be with you till the very end. You are my pride and joy. is exposed. There it is. A naked nuke. Let's finish it, Snake. Let this be our last battle. If we're responsible for liquid sins, then the onus is ours to bear. Right. doom for the human race. You've got to stop them from using that railgun. Then annihilate GW. this attack because that was a terrible plan whatever oh for fuck's sake I just realized are we gonna have to do one of those Meryl boss fights like with Psycho Mantis back in the day is that a thing in this game I don't remember been too long
job, Snake. You made it on board. Welcome to Haven. Enemy units are already on their way. Break through their defenses and find GW's server room. He's probably still around. Yeah. Glory to cardboard box. Turned around. I've got this thing set to single shots. Wait, hold on, this is hidden. No, it's not. somewhere somehow Everything's half off. Well, you don't say. That's not half off. Not even close.
Who the fuck spotted me and where from? that those big geckos distract them long enough for me to get this alert off and then I can sneak up to that door and get the hell out of here. I'm gonna need some... Well, I'm basically out of noodles, so let's get those rations out. Got ten of those. Sniper up there. She is occasional looking this way. Okay. I'm going to give him that thirty five seconds. See if they go back to like a patrol mode. 10, 9, 8, 7. That's not even seconds, that's way quicker. I think I'm going to save here for the night because I need to get some sleep as well. It's getting kind of late. Let's give Otacon one last call. Snake, the catapult malfunctioned when it launched Meryl. She landed some distance away from you. <sighs> and Akiba ended up in the drink. There's no time to rendezvous with them. You'll each have to make your own way to the server room. I'll be following you with a Mark III. I can't be there to watch your back in person, but I'm with you all the way. Good luck, Snake. Anything else? How's it going over there, Otacon? The troops above decks are having a shootout with the enemy over on your end. It's a total war zone. Uh, you could be okay. 
For now, at least. The Missouri's protected by some pretty thick armor. Good. Sounds like everything's under control. Don't count on it lasting. If things get bad, abandon ship. Got it? Yeah, I know. Same goes for you too, Snake. Don't end up like Admiral Nelson. Don't worry. I'm not ready to hang it up yet. Not until I finish the mission. That's the spirit, Snake. Right. Well, this is where I'm going to save. And that'll be it for the night. Good night, folks. Thanks for watching.